month, another morning next year and time for us to take each other around some intelligent, topical, progressive discussion on the Daybreak Show, Rock City 101.9 FM. To be understand, today is the last day of the month, is that true? Yes. Ah, uh, and so we are going to the eighth month of the year. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. The of August. I am the light. We thank God uh, for that. And then immediately after that, we go into the ember month, the yes. beginning of the end of the year. Of the year. God is great. All right. Yes, sir. You are welcome once again. Dele Ayodo is my name. And I am Toby Joseph. All right. We'll continue from where we stopped uh, yesterday, actually. Um, if you followed us, you realize that a lot of issues uh, crept up following those uh, interviews those reports from our reporters who visited the different spots where we had that devastating flood disaster which occurred on friday 13th of july uh, 2018. for instance there are issues about the forms that were distributed i did mention that uh, we tried to get the ministry of environment and the state emergency management authority to speak to us on those uh, issues eventually we got the national emergency management authorities in a couple of minutes hopefully we'll be able to speak with uh, the southwest coordinator Ibrahim Fari and Loye and we have reports we have news for those who says they are finding it difficult to get their form returned and even pick the form I'm talking about the compensation forms that they were asked to pick those who visited their back time off and Abekta South local government, yes, we have news for you, and that uh, you can now go, you can go back to those places and tell them that it's about the uh, flood issue. We understand that uh, desk offices have been opened, but if they still insist that they will not take it from you, I'm talking of the point that you now go to the Ministry of Environment, I think it's on Block C, okay, Mosso, Ministry of Environment, and ask for desk office for flood, flood victims. Yes, uh, drop your form there or collect forms if you want to. And if you see a problem, then get in touch with us here. Uh, we'll see what to do about it. We are waiting to get in touch uh, to speak to Ibrahim finally. In the meantime, we have uh, somebody in the house uh, who will also be assisting us to go through this thing. What can be done? We didn't talk much about what can be done, what should be done to avoid this. We can't stop the rains we can't start natural disaster that's why no insurance company want to ensure you against natural disaster but as humans god has given us that ability like it's done in other places to at least mitigate this either by government or by the citizens themselves and joining us this morning is the former state chairman of the nigeria institution of surveyors is also the current chairman of the Association of Professional Bodies of Nigeria Open State, uh, Sovio Tunji Adegule. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. All right. Uh, Sovio Adegule, I I'm sure, I don't know if you visited those or some of those places affected did you. Yes. Okay, you were there. Now, you saw those, um, the, you saw the damages caused. Um, I know that some are still not quantifiable. If you can't, I know those who just lost even personal, domestic, proper spoons, cups, all their clothes washed away. Uh, in this kind of situation, what can be done? Or what should we do? When I say we collectively as government and as uh, citizens. Well, Dave, uh, good morning, listeners. The first thing we have to do in this uh, situation. It's what we call the first uh, responders. That is the what can be done immediately. One is to see that those who are affected, are uh, one way or the other, uh, be assisted. So at least to elevate the sufferings, uh, the situation they are going through now, the government should be able to compensate them. As uh, I think third day. Uh, after the event, this uh, occurrence, something happened in the uh, Asina State, and NEMA and all the uh, agencies that are responsible for uh, this situation were there to see how to 
uh, alleviate the suffering of the people. So this should also be done in the open state here, so that at least we show uh, that we are concerned. The government should show concern, and even they say we should also love our neighbors. So whatever we can do to help those in that situation should also be done. Done with specific and what kind of uh, what are you expecting government to do in this? Uh, I, I'm sorry, in the couple of just uh, I, I'm sure we have uh, Ibrahim Farid Noye uh, from Nema on the line. Good morning, sir. Uh, Fine, thank you. Welcome to the daybreak on Rock City 101.9 FM. Now, um, Mr. Farid Noye, did the uh, Nema. Are you supposed to be a part of the rescue team for the flood disaster in Ogun State? Because we have issues that is supposed to be strictly a state issue that NEMA cannot get involved unless they are invited. Okay, I haven't cleared that. Were you a part of those who rescued and uh, responded to calls from Ogun State uh, people who went to flood the court? So, um, as of today, sir, it's about 19 days after that occurrence. Um, what has changed from your end in terms of um, improving or bringing succor to these people? Now, when you are talking about permanent long-term solutions, what exactly does this entail? Now, talking about assessment, Mr. Farinoye, help us clear 
uh, this down. Who distributed assessment form? Those who collected it, where would they return it to? Or those who have not collected, where would they go to collect? Okay, my son. Now, Mr. Fine Lawyer, may I inform you that as at yesterday, many of the victims we spoke with said the local governments, North and South, Africa, North and South, were rejecting the form, and that some of them who also want to collect were denied. Okay, my son. Do, do you have an officer, a name that they can go to see there? Okay. The other news, the people, the victims are expecting to hear is how soon or how long do you think this um, relief assistance will come? Mr. Fine thank you so much. But before we let you go, can you tell us who and who um, are in that committee? Thank you so much, Ibrahim Fine Noye from NEMA, for talking to us on Rock City 101.9 FM. All right, you've heard his voice, uh, Ibrahim Fine Noye, Southwest Coordinator, National Emergency Management Authority, speaking to us on the efforts being made uh, done by government to assist victims. Uh, that's following the complaints from uh, the victims that spoke to us. Yesterday, he just told us that only yesterday a committee was set up that will expedite action, handle this made up of different government agencies at both federal and state level. And for those who are worried about what to do, where to collect or submit the uh, appraisal compensation forms collected, we just told us that they mandated the two local governments, Abekuta South and Abekuta North, to open a desk office 
where you can submit or collect those forms. And if you are finding it difficult or there are problems from there, there is also an office, a desk office at the State Emergency Management Agency located within the State Secretariat. Okay, my son, you can go there, collect, and submit your form. However, for how soon those relief materials or assistance will come, well, uh, they want to be transparent. They want to avoid diversion or the so-called corruption. So they may not be able to say in specific terms when those materials or relief will come. All right, we are back here in the studio. And like I mentioned earlier, we have uh, Sovio Tunji Adegule. Which you. So, do you want to quickly react or comment on what uh, Ibrahim Fahinoe just told us? Well, um, we have listened uh, attentively and I've seen that uh, the process they are put in place is okay. Our fear is that the government bureaucracy should not delay uh, actualization of these uh, processes. One of the things that we look at is now, some people are uh, maybe now uh, homeless. What do we do to those people immediately? The government, I mean, the state government should be able to look into that before the NEMA issue is resolved. And uh, so that uh, at least media relief will come to some people. Then how do we, these forms and some other things, that they are asking them to submit. How do they verify these forms? This uh, information that we give them is uh, one of the things we should also look at. Yeah, they will have set up more doubts to check that out. Perhaps you just told us about the committee the set up. So uh, that expected to be part of what they will be doing. Anyway, I, I say the, uh, the NEMA spokesperson now said, they are long, there are some that are short term, there are some that are long terms. But the most important thing is that if you look at the history of uh, this uh, problem, in, especially in Abekuta, it has been long for some time. And uh, uh, we commend the government for, at least for this uh, standard uh, job they are doing because of the volume of uh, water that you uh, now uh, uh, so we are yes. that's uh, one that i want us to talk extensively yes. on uh, in fairness to the present administration i saw this many people resident in the who, who are here when those uh, bridges but uh, the long shogo bridge the okeshokori bridge um i think the Salibay bridge and which other bridge some of them were being constructed the one that uh, Obiuri about. Um, one will thought this will put an end to all this. Um, I'm not an engineer, but what I can what I can see the way job was going on, the materials there, uh, it was it appears to be a very um, concretized job, a perfect job that were being done. But alas, this still happened again. Those channels, canal bridges appeared not to be able to uh, rescue people. Take that water uh, with this what really happened what can be done because government will say well we saw it we have done this we have done that yes um the the problem is this along those major roads those bridges have been widened to contain as much uh, water but in between the roads the uh, waterways are not controlled and so that there is no way uh, those things will move perfectly. The essence of this is this. We use drainage so as to be able to direct the flow of water. So there are supposed to be channelization to channelize between those bridges in between so that water will be able to follow a, a, a normal course rather than meandering in between soils some will go into houses some will flow back because if we look at the history of uh, flooding some of us that are old enough we realize what happened in the uh, ibadan Ubumpa. and when this thing happened the federal government has to come in and channelize Ubumpa stream they make a very big uh, drainage system 
that will contain a large volume of water. Apart from that, the flow of the water are better. It's like when you have a very good road and vehicles are moving. You see, no matter the volume of the vehicle, once the road is still good, they will not meet themselves. But immediately you you meet any obstacle, like uh, uh, some part of the road are bad, you quickly see key up. That is the way the water also moves. If those things are generalized and they are able to move, they will move freely and enter and in, discharge themselves into Ogun, Ogun River. Yeah, yeah. But because those ones are not done, this uh, this is what has uh, resulted into most of these things. Uh, so you are, you are a severe one. Yes. And then um, we are also chairman of this uh, body, professional bodies. Associations like yours, the surveying, who should who has something to do with land? Do you give advice uh, to government on some of these people? You should also react when we have issues. Well, normally uh, issues like this involves a lot of professionals: the surveyors, the engineers, the environmentalists, and uh, even the planners. We have to look at it holistically. Now, in the past, I recall that in around 2005, uh, the federal, I mean, from the presidency, they sent some uh, consultants to, especially uh, this uh, Shokori stream. They came, they carried out survey in part of, so that they be able to uh, have some uh, uh, be able to have a permanent solution to these things. At the same time, the same the same thing we are witnessing the same thing in uh, Udukala in Ijebode. So also the survey was done and everything. But they go, they later came to do the generalization of uh, Udukala and reclaim all lands that have been eaten up. But that of Abekuta is not done. So if that is done, uh, that we will not be having this type of problem. I recall that when the, the PDP government came to power, they established the Ministry of Environment. So as to look at our environmental problems, so that there is what we call ecological fund. The purpose of this ecological fund is able to tackle these problems we are having. Presently in the Ministry of Environment, they have Department of Flood and Erosion Control. Those ones are those are responsible to look at uh, these problems. It's not only erosion. You have gullies all over the place that are threatening the existence of people. And once these ones are done, the proper survey is done, the engineering design is done and sent to the presidency. Then the, federal, the president will look into these issues, either award contract or send money directly to the state government for direct labor. This has been done in the past. So uh, you recall that in Ilaro at a particular time, mm -hmm. that's what we call mm -hmm. Uhuru, 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 